Welcome back, Flare community. Happy Friday. I hope you're ready for a great weekend. Um, yeah, apologies. I have had to stream a little bit earlier, 18 minutes early, because uh, I do actually have some other commitments. So we're going to jump straight in. This is Flare Finance Friday. Uh, this is the 16th week of the Community Driven Investment Portfolio, which started out at 20,000 Canary dollars. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to the Discord over here, and uh, we're going to have a quick look at the polls. Now, I did switch it up here, um, and we added a third option, and I guess it's still a little bit confusing, but we're going to do this anyway. Uh, we're going to enter this pool with 25% of our Songbird tokens, and looking at this as well, we're going to do C, we're going to keep, oh, sorry, D, uh, keep the SGB, and also E which is put our claimed SVIN into the SVIN pool. There was um, this G option, which was pretty close as well. Uh, and that was to sell for XFi. So it's interesting to see that people are interested in uh, moving to XFi more, especially maybe with the consideration that it's for the future airdrop. So very interesting indeed. So I guess... Um, before we jump in, actually, I just wanted to remind everyone that uh, all those who are part of the Patreon group, there is a 24 hour early uh, preview of the latest um, video that should be dropping tomorrow for everyone else. Okay, let's jump into things. So here we are. Let me just give a quick reminder and give it a quick refresh because I was logged in in another wallet. And here we go. Let's start claiming some of this SFIN that we have available. So there's that one, going to claim that, beautiful, and this one to claim. I guess something else that's going to be interesting, which I didn't really consider is what we do with this X5. Now we don't have that much, I've only got 24 here, um, but I guess what we'll do is we'll just get the songbird, we'll claim the songbird, and then we will... Uh, Yes, exit the pool with a quarter of it and then we can go from there and sell that into xfi and enter the the pool here so what i really want to do is it's since we're going to need um, equal amounts of each both uh, songbird and xfi what i'm going to do is i'm going to take 50 percent out here and use half of that so it would be 25 percent to buy xfi and uh, that should give us an equal amount on each side. So let me go on exit. Some funky business here. Oh, well, here we go. Loads of actions. We're going to have loads of transactions now, I think. Not able to estimate gas. I've seen this error a few times, actually. Let's reject it. I can come back to that in a minute. Let's begin by exiting, exiting the pool. Uh, in fact, I think you can actually change staking and unstake half of it. That's good. That's a better way to do it. And we also get this nice 50% ratio there. Um, so let's unstake that. That's more of a, a winning option there for those that didn't know. You've obviously got the stake here when you do have some and unstake when you don't. Uh, Give it a quick refresh. What time are we on? Quarter two. No worries. How's everyone doing today anyway? Happy Friday. It's actually nice and sunny here in uh, in England, which does make a nice change. Right, here we go. Unstake, 50%. Confirm. And it's also important to note that when you do do a transaction, never sell all of your songbird. Otherwise, you'll be uh, in a compromising position where you can't facilitate the trades because you have no songbird to um, pay for the gas fees, right? Let me give that a quick a refresh just to double check. In fact, we might be able to just check the wallet here. 
Um, so that was the earlier claim. We've got this one pending. See what's going on. Then we can jump into the pool. And this is going to be the first time that we've actually um, gone into a dual sided pool, I guess. Um, so there we go. It's obviously gone out there. Uh, I think it's still wrapped actually. So I guess that's the next step. I can go to FTSO AU here really great interface there we go there's our wrapped songbird uh what we want to do is unwrap it and go like this unwrap that give it a quick confirm hey presto and uh yeah it'll be interesting for some of the people in the community that haven't really seen this process of going or entering into a dual-sided liquidity pool like i said we have only done this um with the single-sided liquidity pools at the minute Hmm, that's interesting. What's happened here? It's failed. We also don't see any wrapped songbird. Which is uh, slightly worrisome. Oh, it's still there. Maybe it's just not displaying on, on here correctly. There we go. Let's give that a try again. Maybe we'll just leave a little bit there. See what happens. There we go, and wrap and confirm. Let's see. thinking about it there we go complete hey presto so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over to flarex the decentralized exchange and this is something that you need to do if you want to enter the uh dual-sided liquidity pools but before we do that we're going to buy some xfi with half of this which is obviously this is obviously um 50 of what we withdrew and that would give us 25 percent songbird and well I guess 50% Songbird, 50% XFi of the <laughs> of the 100% Songbird that we have. So we still got 50% of our Songbird in the pool. There we go. We got 1,007, almost 1,700, just shy. And we're going to go up here to the liquidity tab. Give that a quick click. And we're going to find the pool that we want to enter, and that is going to be Songbird to XFi. Uh, provide liquidity. I do have to approve this because I've not actually entered this pool before, like we said earlier. Confirm that transaction, um, and then we should be able to enter uh, the pool and provide some liquidity. So that looks good to me. Uh, like I said, we're going to pop this in here, uh, but we're going to reduce it slightly because still want to be left with some uh and it looks like you know the price fluctuation we need 1700 here and obviously we don't have that so we're going to reduce it a little bit further and uh let's go something like that and that's going to allow us to provide equal amounts 50 50 of each asset okay so provide liquidity confirm the transactions and yes there we go it is now staked once this gets um approved let's say so we'll give that a second there we go so we do have some liquidity in there and if you wanted to check again you just click on here and uh, we can see the balance i know actually maybe that's not right but what we can do is we can go over back over to flr farm and this is what we're going to do with that staked um, them staked assets. So we're going to find the pool here. And where are we? There we go. X5 to Songbird liquidity pool. So we're going to start staking. And you can see that we have a fair amount to stake. Put that all the way to the top. Click on stake. And confirm. Give that a second. Wait for it to uh, go through. There we 
go. Successful transaction. Um, let's actually give this a quick refresh and get some sort of idea on, uh, I guess, what our share of the pool will be. <clears throat> we can do this by, I guess we'll just have a quick, uh, brief look here. Um, so we have this much staked, just uh, seven and a bit thousand. And that's how much is staked altogether. So if you imagine that it's going to be, um, it's going to be just over 0.1%, maybe 0.12, somewhere around there. So that means that we're going to get, um, this is the reward rate. So it's going to be this times uh, 0.0012, something like that. So not too bad. Uh, we're just going to see how that pans out. It's going to be interesting to see how the, the reward pool works for this. And we'll be able to compare it to the Songbird rewards here. So last thing to do is to add our... Oh, we still got this to claim as well. I'm going to claim the SFIN and then add it all back to uh, all of the SFIN that we've claimed back to the SFIN pool. I believe that was the general consensus. What shall we do with the SFIN? E2H. Put into SFIN pool. E. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Uh, where are we now? Going over here. Claimed that. Uh, we're going to change staking. Put it all the way to the top. Stake the SFIN. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to update our table here. And in fact, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's just see. Still thinking about it. Yeah, Raphael, you are a little bit late, but I think that's just my fault because I did. Uh, I do normally start this at um, on the hour, uh, but I had to start a little bit early because I do have some things to do. Uh, so yeah, apologies for that. Maybe my fault. Uh, double check. Right, okay, that one didn't go through. Let's change the staking. Uh, but yeah, Raphael, what we did today was we actually... Um, to the dual liquidity pool. I just showed some people how to do that. Um, so yeah, something a little bit different. I mean, for the past, I guess, 10 weeks or so, we've been doing the same thing. So it's nice to mix it up. Okay, that's not working. I'm going to do this at a little bit of a later date because I do realize that uh, I am running out of time. And like I said, I do have places to be today. So we're going to quickly update the... Uh, guess update the the charts in fact this one's going to be a little bit different because i'm not sure how we can um determine the value of the liquidity pool tokens that we have so obviously we have this many but we've got no way of calculating that value um interesting i don't think we're going to be able to do that just now um, so this is going to take a big hit on the portfolio in terms of our, uh, whoops, in terms of our, oh my God, had a bit of a nightmare there. Um, yeah, so the portfolio is not really going to be an accurate represent representation now. Um, so I'm going to add them anyway. And we're going to see, I guess, what it looks like. That's going to be zero. Um, we did have some SVIN here. And we also could... Um, I, can st I still have to change the staking here with 0 0.001. Uh, I'll just mute this real quick. Apologies for that. Uh, so it's going to be this, but we're going to change that to a 7. And X5, that's been put into the pool in addition to half of this. So yeah, it's a bit of a strange one. I need to work out how we can actually um, accommodate for this dual sided pool liquidity and how we can get a value from that. Maybe able to just, in fact, let's have a quick peek. What time are we on? Yeah, I've got a couple of minutes left. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get any values from that. So 
I'm not sure if we will be able to because obviously the price is changing and we do have the risk of uh, impermanent loss here. So let's go to Songbird XFi. Um, no, so it looks like the only thing that we can get value from is the actual, well, I'm not sure if we can at the minute, but uh, the LP tokens, which we have in here. Um, obviously we've got 7,316, but I'm not sure how to get a price for that, but I'm going to have a think and see what we can do. So in terms of percentage wise, uh, in terms of portfolio wise, again, this is not accurate at all. Uh, give me a second. So we're looking at uh, 5,835. But again, um, half of the portfolio now is in this liquidity pool. So maybe it's somewhere close to double this, which would put it at 10,000, uh, sorry, 11,600 or somewhere in that ballpark. Um, yeah, that's about it. So again, Apologies that I have to leave, and I did this a little bit earlier, but uh, thank you all for tuning in. I guess we did do something a little bit different here today by entering the dual liquidity pool. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have yourselves a great weekend, and a new video should be dropping tomorrow about Layer Cake, so stay tuned for that. And if you are part of the Patreon group, you should have access to that right now. Okay, guys, take care, and until next time, I'm out. We have lift off.